In this video, we're going to look at some transistor circuits, and we're going to find some missing voltages and currents, assuming very large beta, or common emitter gain. The common emitter gain is equal to the collector current, or IC, over the base current, IB. Now because our beta is very large, we can assume that the collector current is also very large. So the base current is negligible. This is a transistor symbol. We have the emitter pin here with the arrow, the collector pin here, and the base pin on this side. So the relationship between the emitter current, collector current, and base current is the emitter current is equal to the base current plus the collector current. And since the collector current is so large, we can neglect the base current and we get the emitter current being equal to the collector current. So because our common emitter gain is so large, we can just say that the collector current is equal to the emitter current. Okay, so we got that out of the way. Let's move on to the problems. So here's our first transistor circuit. We need to find this current, which is going into the emitter pin. So this is actually the emitter current. And we want to find this voltage here. So let's start with the current. So the emitter current is going to be equal to the voltage over the resistance. So we're going to have 10.7 volts and we're going to subtract 0.7 volts from that. And that's going to be over 5k ohms. That's going to give us 10 volts over 5 times 10 to the third power ohms. And that's going to give us 2 milliamps. Next, we have to find this voltage value. But to do that, we need a current. Now, there's a current coming down here. That's the collector current. And like I said in the beginning of the video, in our case with very large common emitter gain, the collector current is equal to the emitter current. So to find this voltage value, we're going to need to take our collector current, 2 times 10 to the negative third power amps, and that's going to be equal to V minus negative 10.7 volts over 5,000 ohms. We can multiply each side of the equation by 5,000 ohms, and we get 10 is equal to V plus 10.7 volts. Now we can subtract both sides by 10.7, and we get negative 0.7 volts for our missing voltage value. So we found our emitter current, our collector current, and our missing voltage value. Let's move on to the next one. For this next one, we want to find this voltage value. But in order to do that, we need to find our collector current value and our emitter current value. We have all the values needed to find our collector current pretty easily, so let's start with that. So to find our collector current, we're going to want to start with this negative 4 volt value. And we're going to want to subtract this negative 10 volt value. And that's going to be over 2.4 K ohms. So that'll give us negative 4 plus 10 volts over 2.4 times 10 to the third power ohms which gives us a final value of 2.5 milliamps. And again, because our common emitter gain is very large, we can say our emitter current is also 2.5 milliamps. So now we can find this missing voltage. We'll take the emitter current and we'll set that equal to 12 volts minus V, and that's going to be over 5.6 times 10 to the third power ohms. 
We'll multiply both sides of the equation by 5.6 k ohms. That'll give us 14 on this side and 12 minus V on this side, which gives us negative two volts for our missing voltage. Let's go on to the next one. So here's our next circuit. We have an emitter current here. We have a collector current here. And we want to find these currents and we want to find this missing voltage. So we can find collector current pretty easily. Let's start with that. That'll equal zero volts minus negative 10 volts over 20k ohms. That'll give us positive 10 volts over 20 times 10 to the third power ohms, which leaves us with 0.5 milliamps. So we have our collector currents, and as a freebie, we have our emitter current as well, 0.5 milliamps. Now let's find this voltage. So to find this voltage, we're gonna need to use our base current. But for our situation, because we have a very large common emitter gain, our base current is gonna be just zero. So we can take this zero and we can set it to the missing voltage minus two volts, this one up here, over 15 K ohms. Now we can multiply both sides by 15 K which will give us just zero on this side again. That'll leave us with zero is equal to V minus two volts, which gives us a value of two volts. Okay, so we found our collector current, our emitter current, and we found our missing voltage. Let's go ahead and do one more problem. So here's our last circuit. We wanna go ahead and find our current values and this voltage value. You'll notice that the transistor is switched compared to the previous three. So our emitter current is gonna be down here. Our collector current will be up here. And this is our base current. Let's apply Kirchhoff's voltage law around the outer loop in order to find our emitter current. So we're gonna to wanna to start with negative 10 volts. We're starting from up here, plus 9.1 K ohms times IC, plus 10 times 10 to the third power ohms times IB, plus 0 0.7 volts. We're down here now plus three times 10 to the third power ohms times IE minus 10 volts down here. And we have to set that to zero. We'll move these voltage values over to the right side of the equation. That would give us 19.3 on this side we can substitute zero for IB, so we can get rid of that and this. And because our collector current is equal to our emitter current, we can substitute the collector current for IE. So we have 9.1 K ohms plus three K ohms times IE is equal to 19.3. From there we get 12.1 times 10 to the third power ohms times the emitter current, and that's equal to 19.3, which leaves us with the emitter current being equal to 19.3 volts over 12.1 K ohms, giving us 1.6 milliamps. So we have our emitter current, which means we also have our collector current. Now we just have to find this missing voltage. 
So to find this voltage, we'll take our value for the collector current, and we'll set that equal to 10 volts minus our missing voltage value over this 9.1 K ohm resistor. We'll multiply both sides by 9.1 K ohms, which will give us about 14.56 volts on this side and 10 minus our missing voltage value. That's gonna give us a voltage of about negative 4.5 volts. Okay, so we found all of our currents. We found our missing voltage value. That's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching.